This is Danica Thorne for Pro Boxing Fans in Quebec, where we've just saw Arthur Baturbe have stopped Calm since to become, or to retain, I should say, the Unified Light Heavyweight World Championship. Eddie, uh, your immediate reaction, another stoppage victory for Arthur Baturbe. Yeah, just not human, is he? You know, I think his pulse rate was about 30 through the whole fight. Um, you know, obviously has tremendous power. I thought defensively he was good tonight as well. You know, and I said this week, you just can't take the hammer off Betterbiev for too many rounds. And Callum Smith took too much hammer and eventually got worn down. Didn't make the dent in him that he needed to. I thought he had a good second round and even the round before he got stopped. Just try, starting to find the body a little bit, but it's just a freak of nature, Betterbiev. You know, I, I've not really seen anything like it. And um, yeah, just, just not human. What do you make of the pace Arthur was able to keep in there? I mean, people were worried if he was going to slow down approaching 40, but clearly no signs of that. As I said, I've never seen... It, it's, it's like he's not human. Like, and it's very difficult to you know, see a way to beat him if you can't hurt him. And Callum Smith hit him. He didn't hit him clean like he needed to, and he was whiskers away a couple of occasions. But did he look like he was going to put a dent in him? You know, and when you've got a guy that... He's just coming forward, and it's even the little shots of better be able to have the power that continuously hurt you and mark up your face. And if you don't get his respect inside the six rounds, or if you don't hurt him or stop him inside six rounds, he's going to just keep forcing the pace. And uh, yeah, yeah, a very, very special fighter. Just a word on Calm. I know he wasn't happy with his performance against Canelo, and a lot of people sort of accused him of wilting in that fight and going into shell, but no sign of that tonight. Even when he got hot, he went out swinging. He was, he was uh, letting his hands go. I think he should have started a little bit faster. You know, the inactivity probably hasn't helped, but you know, like I said, I think it was in the second round. He was whiskers away with a left hook, and in the, there was a right hand that whizzed by that I thought might have done some damage. Who knows? Maybe not. Uh, but yeah, he done himself proud tonight, gave it everything, but better be have too good. Eddie, my French isn't great, but my Russian's worse, but it sounded like things look good for the Bivol fight. Uh, what can you tell us? Yeah, I think that's the only fight. I mean, it's the only fight for Arta Betterbiev, and it's the only fight for Dmitry Bivol. I, I don't know how you beat Betterbiev. Um, you know, Bivol will certainly outbox him, but you've got to outbox him for 12 rounds unless you hurt him. And that's the difficulty, because you know he's going to force the pressure, you know he's going to hit the body, the little shots that land, the shots on the arm, they're all, they all hurt. Um, but we believe we've got the guy to beat him in Dimitri Bivol. We thought we might have the guy to beat him in Callum Smith, but as I said, just, just a guy that's not human. Eddie, just a word on the Times article of the day. Uh, it's in, your, in the process of suing uh, Sky and Boxer over the sign of Josh Piazzi. What can you tell us? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, legal process is a uh, confidential obviously we uh, protect our contractual position at all times and that's all i've got to say really how, how long has that been going on i mean you know from from when uh we parted ways i leave it there thanks very much cheers mate